Hello again, good morning, it's the 9th of February. Today we're doing comprehension on the discussion text, that is our LO. You can write that in your book, of course, with a quick date or a full date. Usually quick date when we're doing guided reading. Now, you should have a sheet of questions. Well, I'll put them on the PowerPoint as well to help. I shall read through them and give you some direction of the point scoring. So, have the text in front of have the text in front of you and the questions alongside. You can write, type them in or you can write them in your book. Okay, you will have to use your book to write question eight, which is a question of your making. So, number one, should you really brush your teeth? What is the text all about? Give me a sentence, tell me what the text is all about. That's worth one mark. Question two, you've got to tick the correct box. In the following table below to show whether the arguments are for or against brushing your teeth. Two marks for all of them, one mark for three of them. Correct. I think these are the arguments for brushing your teeth or against brushing your teeth. My teeth are perfect. Is that for or against? Brushing your teeth helps prevent plaque building up. Is that for or against brushing your teeth? Archaeologists have found really bad tooth decay in ancient skeletons. Is that for? Or against brushing your teeth and for millions of years people did not brush their teeth is that for or against brushing your teeth think carefully question three quotation from the passage it is absurd in this day and age for someone not to want to brush their teeth so which word most closely matches the meaning of absurd clever funny crazy or interesting one mark there for the answer Number four, find and copy two of the ways you can keep your teeth clean and not get tooth decay. One mark for each of those, and there's more than two in the passage, so you should be able to find them. Question five, in the end, the writer thinks you should brush your teeth. True or false? Two marks. One mark for whether you think it's true or false, and another mark for saying how you know this. Are there any clues in the text? Using your common sense, reading it through and thinking about what the writer is saying, are there any clues in the text that might lead you to think that the writer thinks that you should brush your teeth? Number six. Why does it, do you think the writer reports what two of the experts say about teeth? Give one reason. Why do you think the writer is using expert opinion in the passage? What would be a good reason for that? And number seven. Do you think that the reason the writer gives for Kira not brushing her teeth is true? Say why? One mark. Can you think, looking at the vocabulary when they're talking about Kira, what kind of words does the writer use when talking about the reason for Kira not brushing her teeth? Or not wanting to brush her teeth? The clues are in the vocabulary, I think. If you look carefully and think a little bit, you might well get that. Question eight is a question of your own. Make one up and answer it. So, a few extra things to think about. Read the question and use the text to answer them as fully as you can. Okay, so answer as fully and as clearly as you can. Now you can mark up and write on the text to help you find the parts of it that help your answer. So highlight, underline, circle, find those bits, skim and scan, and have a good look. When you've finished, as we said before, make up and answer a question of your own. That is your question eight. And lastly, this is your success criteria. How will I know you've done this task well? Well, you'll have answered all the questions fully. Number two, you'll have a question of your own written and answered. Okay, so good luck, everyone. Have fun. And we'll see what your answers are like tomorrow.